app that lets you customize your shoes oh god remember i was talking about hybrid sneakers well it's not going to end i don't know what i, I don't know if it's a, a a thing about the customers wanting to see it or the brands using it as a way to kind of cheat and get some market research but i saw this app yesterday um it's called Sne sneaker generator app allows you anyone to create custom footwear silhouettes which i don't know why you want to do this right at first, I thought it was a colorway thing, which would have been more interesting because uh, then, you know, you have the opportunity to kind of fuck around the colorway to maybe um, dabble in, you know, creating your own sort of like shoe design sort of thing. <coughs> Show that up on social media. But this is weird. So this is a app called. What is it called? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. A bit nasty there. What can you do? Um. So it's a sneaker generator app, right? It allows anyone to create custom footwear silhouettes. It's a sneaker generator app. And I've got it on the screen here. So essentially, you're going to be able to put hybrid shoes together. So on the screen now, we've got um, that weird Harachi with a thing front on it and Harachi grip. We've got Air Max 97s with an Air Max 1 sole. We've got Jordans with different soles on. We've got those weird Gucci shoes with different soles on. So essentially, you can you can join them together. I'm pretty sure, right? So it's the this, this is the text on their sneaker uh, customization app. I don't know why you want to do this. It's so horrible. Um, see, customizations have naturally taken to Instagram to show their creations of the world, which are always generally shit. Apart from that studio in um, Holland, that's helped Virgil do some shoes, and I think they're well known in the industry. Um, I think they might have did that shoe for um, Kendrick Lamar too, that Cortez with the sock on it. I don't forgot. It's a design studio in, um, I think it's called Studio Hargo Studio. I forgot the name of it, but it's a design studio in Holland. They do really good stuff. But apart from them, they're all fucking garbage, especially the sneaker designers that make fucking Python leather skin Jordan ones. Like, just allow it. Leave leave them alone. Anyway, this is the text. See, customizations I've taken, naturally taken to Instagram to show off their creations to the world. But the feat is only av truly available to those willing to physically deconstruct and reconstruct shoes or spend hours in first shop pieces together design elements the up and coming sneaker generator app aims to provide an entry level sneaker customization experience to anyone with a smartphone sneaker generator app allows users to pull various elements from their various sneakers and mix and match them to create entirely new silhouette why would you want to do that mix and match silhouette? honestly this is the this is we're living in an era of so much un um, unoriginality from all these all these shapes were created by men or by humans just like me and you right they sat there they, they had a pen or a pencil in their hand and they sketched out an idea for a, a sneaker design why can't you do the same thing why can't you take an element of a shoe that you love give it a little tweak and make your own shoe not just take an element of a shoe that already exists take off the sole take off the midsole and glue them together like some sort of weird frankenstein shoe why not make your own new shoe i don't understand this it's not that hard it really isn't like to sketch a design of a shoe like is it that difficult to do it's probably on the same part as making a t-shirt a new t-shirt design figure out something that you're interested in take a, a logo that you like flip it um you know edit it by three percent whatever it may be called that virgil rule and you've suddenly got a new t-shirt design on your hand it's not that hard to do i really don't get this like why would you want to do this like why and also you're providing these brands with fucking free insights and inspiration into stuff that they're going to create and not give you any money like any royalties this doesn't make any sort of sense this app continuously updates its offerings based on the latest footwear drops to keep things relevant as quick release get cycles move on to the next hype shoe users have the ability to combine different upper soles from nike Adidas, gucci and off-white which is stupid because why why would they ever work to, again it doesn't make any sense um especially since most of the gucci and off-white stuff is taking inspiration from the actual um sports uh or the athletic brand shoes anyway that's where they're coming from most of the innovation is coming from this the actual sports brands and then it's taken up to the higher or high-end brands most of the high-end brand shoes are fucking garbage for the most part because they don't actually make the new they don't actually make anything new changing colors and accessories as they see fit it's just garbage all these shoes here you've got like air maxes with that weird versace chain reaction so You've got Jordan 1s with an Air Trainer 1 sole. You've got... Like, why would you spend any time doing this if you're a kid? Like, you should be spending time creating a new shoe, making your own brand. Um, or maybe design, redes actually physically redesigning an actual physical product. Like, what is this garbage? Additionally, a sneaker generator apps to create continually around sneaker customization. Once the design is complete, it can instantly be uploaded to social media, of course. With the app users are able to comment and share, cop or drop, people just... Oh, it's honestly it's one of the worst things i've seen in this year it's really really horrible i don't get why it's a thing why would you want to do hybrid shoes i don't get it they all look garbage none of them have looked great i just don't understand why it's a thing it really is a waste of time what a waste of time and they all look garbage there's not one that looks like if there's this thing what is this got 
it's got like a you got like a Yeezy sole here with what's that what's that from? Is that from the 3D printed ADAS and a back of something else? I don't know why you'd want that. They just look all they mostly look terrible. Mostly look terrible. For the most part. Like you should just leave the job to the professionals. Like I don't honestly, I don't know why you do this if you're a kid. It makes absolutely no sense. I'd rather spend my time sketching something on, on Photoshop. And it's not as if you could spend hours on Photoshop doing it. It takes not that you know, get the magic wand app. A few bits of outlines and traces, a couple of layers, and you can do this in a couple of seconds on a sneaker wrap. And it's just, I don't get it. I really don't. I used to spend a lot of time on Nike ID, right? Putting bits together on there, but why the fuck would I do it on here? Like, why would I do that? Like, why? Why would I do that? It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. I don't get it. I really don't get it, man. It's a really bizarre thing to do. Um, I guess if that's your way to go go forward and do things, then fair enough. But you know, you kids are weird, man. This is what you want to do with your life. Fair enough, but. Sneaker generator app, like it doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. But yeah, check it out if you want to. Is it is it available now on the, on the app store? I'm pretty sure, right? On all the fucking silly app stores and stuff. But yeah, check it out if you want. You know, I don't endorse it. Hey, hate hybrid shoes. We we'll always hate hybrid shoes. Um, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs>